guys, welcome to my very first official episode of Kinda Cooking with Team D. Today is an extra special episode because I've partnered up with one of my favorite brands, Kodiak Cakes. They are a protein blend flapjack and waffle mix. I've been a fan of theirs for years. They have tons of different flavors and you can make a bunch more things besides pancakes and waffles with the mix. And they have sent me my very own package that I can't wait to get into. All right, let's dive in. I'm so excited to see what I got, yes! Frontier Food Restore, it's so cute! I love the bear, so cute. All right, let's see what we got. We got chocolate chip, yum! Let's be real, I already put chocolate chip in all my waffles anyway, so I can't wait to try this one. We got almond poppy seed, yum! This is like, Super springy. I definitely have some ideas for this mix. We got cinnamon. Oh, oh, yes. So good. It's like French toast. Definitely can't wait to try this. We got dark chocolate. Oh, yup. Let's be real. Anything chocolate is awesome. You could put like peanut butter, bananas, so good. And last but not least, we have the buttermilk blend. This is like the OG blend. You can go sweet, you can go savory. Chicken and waffles, bomb. You could do a fried egg on top, bomb. And you could also be super sweet and do like or syrup, whatever you feel it. Yum, yay, thank you Kodiak Cakes. I'm so excited to try my new flavors. Yeah! As you know, it's almost spring, so I am inspired to make a spring brunch using the almond poppy seed mix. Today, we're gonna make an almond poppy seed waffle topped with a homemade lemon. I know what you're thinking, this sounds so fancy, which it is, but it's so easy and only requires a few ingredients that I bet you already have in your home. All right, so our first step is making our lemon curd. We are gonna get the zest of three lemons and I have a little shortcut for you. We are gonna use your regular old potato peeler and we're just gonna peel the zest. Oh my God, this thing doesn't work. Nothing says spring more than the smell of fresh lemons. Oh my gosh, it seriously smells so good. Wow. All right, so now we're gonna take our lemon zest. We're just gonna put these in the food processor and we're gonna combine it with our sugar yep, no, kind of a lot of sugar but like this is spring brunch it's the very beginning of spring we have something to celebrate it's all good all right now we're gonna pulse this up until they're pretty evenly incorporated together Alright, I'm pretty excited to do this. I haven't used this food processor yet. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, let's get it. Hey, 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 hey. I was 
Okay, we're good. Oh my god, I'm freaking tired now. All right. Yes, this is exactly what we want. It's like lemon sugar. Smells so good. Smells good. Okay, so now we need a half cup of lemon juice. So we can just take those lemons that we just zested, cut them in half. You know, there are some fancy juicers and everything, but I'm pretty old school. I'm just going straight up. I got my little strainer, squeezing them out. Trying to catch all the seeds. Next, we want to get our butter in the bowl and we want to cream the butter. Just get it mixed up a little bit. That looks good to me. And now we want to add that lemon zest sugar mix into our butter. Get that all in there. Smells so good. There we go. We're just gonna mix this up a little bit. Not too much. That looks good to me. And now we are going to add our eggs one by one. Red one, two, three, last one, four. <laughs> Lastly, we are gonna add a half cup of our lemon juice. Perfect. Wonderful, and we're just gonna combine that up, and that's our last step for our lemon curd. So now that we have all our ingredients combined for the lemon curd, we have to go over to the stove top and really get this going. All right, and we wanna get cook this super low and slow. As you know, it does have eggs in it. We are not making scrambled eggs here. So we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes or so. We're gonna put this on the lowest heat possible, constantly stirring. The curd is gonna start thickening up about when it gets to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have a thermometer, you can go ahead and keep your eye on it with this. But as long as you take it off the heat before it starts simmering, then you should be good. Look at how nice and smooth we are. Oh, yup. All right, so we got our lemon curd up to about 170 degrees. As you can see, it's gotten nice and thick. So that is when we wanna take it off the heat and put it right in the refrigerator. Perfect, looks so good. Look at that, looks amazing. Perfect. So now that our lemon curd is done and chilling in the fridge, we're gonna get our waffles going using our almond poppy seed mix. We're gonna use about a cup of the mix. This is gonna make like two waffles or so, depending on how big you make them. There we go, that looks, that looks good enough to me. Perfect. And we're gonna use about equal parts water. I kinda like my waffles a little bit thicker, so I'm probably gonna use a little bit less. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, like 
Poppy seeds, yum. All right, so I used the majority of my water. I'm just gonna kind of whisk it up to see how the consistency is. Yum, oh my gosh, seriously, it smells so good. Yeah, this looks like a perfect consistency. So now we're gonna add some oil. This is gonna help make sure that we don't stick to our waffle iron. You can use whatever oil you want. Right now I'm using vegetable oil. You can use coconut, olive. The olive might give it a little bit more of a savory flavor. But yeah, so here we go, adding our oil. This is roughly a tablespoon or so. We just want to whisk that up. All right, let's get this in our waffle iron. Great, so we got our mix all mixed up. Our waffle iron is heated up. So let's go ahead and pour that in. Oh, yup. We're just gonna pour about half of our mix in there. You don't want to overflow it, as tempting as it is. I'm gonna close her up and we're just gonna let this cook for about three to four minutes or so. Just kinda wanna keep an eye on it. Woo, look at that, perfectly golden brown waffle. Smells amazing. Let's just get this on a plate and we're gonna finish it off with our lemon curd. Okay, so our lemon curd has been chilling in the fridge and to be extra fancy, go ahead and put it in just your regular old Ziploc bag. Cut the corner off, super small. And now you have your very own DIY piping bag. And you can just, oh, perfect. Get that lemon curd on there. Yum. You can do a little more, you know, hey. Perfect, but we are not done yet. We are gonna finish it off with some fresh strawberries. I chose strawberries because I love the combination of lemon strawberry, but really you could use blueberries, raspberries, any other fresh fruit. Just adds even more of that spring flavor. There we go, we got your spring almond poppy seed waffles with homemade lemon curd and fresh strawberries. Thanks for watching Kinda Cooking with T. McD. And special thanks to Kodiak Cakes. I'm so excited to try all the rest of our new flavors.